if F1 teams are worth over a billion dollars, I think we are seeing now why this conversation about adding new teams to the grid is has been so contentious. So a reminder, we did a whole segment. Um, if I remember, I will link it in the comment below uh, what episode it was on that we did an F1 ring where we broke down why the FIA wants more teams on the grid and why the F1 teams don't. And now we're seeing the raw numbers of that. A quick wrap up summary is the FIA gets a flat fee for the number of teams on the grid. But as we see now, the teams create value in the value of their franchise, which is the team. And the more franchises there are, it dilutes that value. So if there are 15 F1 teams, then one is less valuable than, being one of 15 is less valuable than being one of 10. But to the FIA, if they got paid $10 a team, they go from making $100 to $150, essentially. And they're like, more money. And that is the uh, main contention point in all of this. So now that we have some like, raw numbers of the actual cost of an F1 team, a middle of the road F1 team, I can totally understand why a 200 million entry fee is laughable to F1 teams right now. To them, that is maybe a quarter of the value of their franchise, maybe. So I don't currently see a great avenue for more teams entering the grid. And if they do, it's gonna cost a billion dollars to enter, to join the grid. It is insanity. I was already really on the sides of the teams with this. I mean, like, look, you gotta have a bigger birthday cake at the birthday party if you're gonna have more people at the birthday party. So you can't just be splitting the same amount of funds. Like, great for, you know, the head who just gets as much as he wants, but this is clear proof that teams are right to turn away offers and that it's also mm -hmm. literally laughable. I mean, this the buy-in was now got this investment is literally under is a quarter. It is, and it's and it's just under a quarter, which you know that that of course was the big bat like had to be such oh, back yeah. and forth in the deal of like twenty five percent, twenty four, twenty, twenty. Da, da, da. Like that uh -huh. is so I can see the Shark Tank of it all happening. So it's just <laughs> so driving the force home that it's just under a quarter that this was just a investment for. Like, what would that buy-in even do? It really just seems like such a cash grab. It's not going to provide any sort of legitimacy in the bid. And then I think it just points to that, God, it really limits who would be able to create a new team just based on funding. Like, that population of people or groups in the world is, like, very specific and just not as, like, accessible so I think then it brings back up the question of like, is this even feasible? Is this possible? Is this the type of like way you want teams to be coming in? Every time we talk about this, we land on more is not always better. I don't need more teams to watch more teams go slow. Like we have 10 teams and nine of them can't be fast enough to compete with Red Bull on a weekend. I don't think more teams in the back of the grid will solve that problem. <laughs> I don't foresee that improving the product. So it all comes down to, so like as a fan, I don't know if, like I do want, I do want more driver opportunities. So I understand that, but I don't want more uncompetitive teams. So my, my brain just started <laughs> laughing at like trying to process how much buying in like coming in with a brand new team would cost to not only literally exist but to be competitive <laughs> I, <laughs> like it's, it's, impossible. So impossible i always say like until we have 10 reasonably competitive teams until we have one team competing with red bull I don't want to hear about 12, 13, 14 teams on the grid. I don't care. I just want 10 competitive ones. To me, this doesn't see an improvement in the product as a fan. And then you and I always also come from this from a business perspective part of our brain, which is why it's interesting when, you know, Stefano Dimancali, who's the CEO of F1, 
what conveniently, right before this was announced, did a big interview on the Beyond the Grid podcast, which is an F1 podcast. So he essentially went on his own company's podcast and he talked about how they are working with the FIA, like they're supposed to, on whether or not to expand the grid. But he was like, that entry fee is going to be enormous to do this. And I completely understand why, because his job as the CEO of F1 is to sell this product. And I don't think more teams are going to help him sell the product. It's not like their like their uh, broadcasting deals are going to get larger. More teams doesn't mean they can increase ticket prices more than they already have to go to a Grand Prix. Like every single revenue stream that comes back into the teams, I don't see any of them getting larger just with the grid getting larger. Yeah, I felt a lot of relief hearing him explicitly say, like, I don't think racing would be better with 20 cars on the grid. Like, I don't, I don't and it's like, oh, phew, thank goodness. Like, it's not, because I feel like it would be very easy for someone in a position like that, especially with this unbelievable boom that's happening, to just be like, let's flood it, flood it, let's. But with his history in the sport and understanding of it, and I think, like, understanding that piece of the quality and, the clear evidence of the gap amongst all of the teams, AKA one and nine, um, <laughs> needing to be fixed before adding any additional, just that's the, that's the right answer. That's the common sense there, not the cash grab. Like none of this is me complaining that Red Bull is dominant. It's more just me saying more, throwing more at the pro the quote unquote problem that Red Bull's dominant doesn't make it any different. Like inexperienced engineering teams will not all of a sudden be better than Mercedes. <laughs> like, that's not... And why are they also dominant? Oh, because they spent so much money that they spent more money than they should have spent. Why money? Because <gasps> it costs money to have a good car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But I do think we're going to get more new teams, but I think they're going to come at a price similar to the... What we just saw is the value... Of Alpine. Do you know any billionaires? <laughs> no. You want to buy an F1 team? <laughs> I would love to. I cannot. Thank you for watching this highlight from episode 23 of Gridwalk. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more F1 videos and a ton of F1 fun. Also, you, also you made it this far into the video. Why not watch the rest of the podcast? Because the full thing's right here. Ready? Click with me. Ready? Click here. Click, 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 click.